Hello friends in this video let's see about key up and key down in event structure so first let us drag and place a event structure from structures on the block diagram screen then do a right click on the event structure and if we click on add event case edit event box will get open so here under event source i am clicking on this vi and under event on keys i am selecting key down and then i am clicking on okay so now on event structure we can see that key down event was added and also on the event data node of the event structure we can see some more options added and now i am going to connect indicators to the care node wiki node and the type node as soon as we add the indicator on the block diagram screen one by one it will also get added on the front panel and on the block diagram screen i am making all these indicators as icon and then on the front panel i am dragging and placing all these indicators to the place where we need next for making this program to execute continuously i am placing a while loop around this event structure and then to give stop condition to this while loop i am connecting a control to its stop button and also i am making this control as an icon and after that before running this program we have to connect another indicator to the i terminal of this while loop to see the number of iteration taking place and on the front panel i am renaming this indicator as iteration and then i am dragging and placing this indicator nearer to other indicators and then i am running this program while the program is executing when we press a key on the keyboard and when the key is in down position the key down event will get triggered and the event structure will get executed and now on the wiki indicator on the front panel we can see the name of the key i have pressed and on the type indicator we can see the type of the event since key down event is taking place the type indicator is indicating key down and if we press a character or a number on the keyboard on the wiki indicator it will be indicated as ascii and on the char indicator we can see the ascii value of the character we have pressed for example if i press a on the keyboard on the char indicator it will be indicated as 97 and if i press b we can see 98 Similarly for each character we press on the keyboard the char indicator will indicate its respective ascii value So in this table on the right side the ascii value for all the characters are given we can refer that And whenever we press a button or a character on the keyboard the event structure executes and then iteration will get completed and this will be indicated on the iteration indicator so we can see the number of iteration on the indicator increases whenever each iteration gets completed so now we have seen about key down and next we can see about key up so now i am stopping this program execution and then i am doing a right click on the event structure on the block diagram screen and here if i click on add event case edit event window will get open Here under event source I am selecting this VI and under event on key I am selecting key up and then I am clicking OK. That is I am doing the same thing as I did before except key down I am clicking on key up. So now we have added key up event to the event structure. In this case we have to press and leave the key and when the key reaches the up position the event will get triggered and the event structure will get executed. So in this video we have seen about key up and key down in event structure in our next video we can continue with another topic thanks for watching please subscribe and support thank you